Ukraine destroys new Russian missile corvettes faster than the Russians build them. The Russian Navy missile corvette Cyclone entered service with the Black Sea Fleet in July 2023, and on May the 19th, a Ukrainian missile strike sank this Karakurt-class ship in Sevastopol. Another Karakurt, the unfinished Askold, was damaged during a November Ukrainian rocket attack on a shipyard in Kirsch in Crimea. Russian naval leadership should be very concerned about the future of the Black Sea Fleet because Ukraine is decommissioning Russian warships faster then Russia can build new ones or reinforce them with ships from other regional fleets, Forbes writes. While Turkey blocks the passage of warships through the Bosphorus Strait, which connects the Mediterranean to the Black Sea, the only way for the Russians to strengthen the Black Sea fleet is to transfer smaller ships to the Black Sea by river or build them in Black Sea shipyards. At the same time, Forbes notes in April, Ukrainian special forces carried out sabotage on the Russian missile corvette Serpukov in Kaliningrad on the Baltic Sea. This Buyan-class corvette was one of the few Russian warships small enough to reach the Black Sea via canals, the Volga, Don and then the Sea of Azov. In addition to the damaged Askold and the sunken Cyclone, five more Karakurts are being built at shipyards in the Crimea or on the Volga as there is every reason to expect that these corvettes will also become targets of attack when they join the fleet in the near future, the publication writes. After all, the Ukrainians have developed or acquired from their foreign allies a range of long-range anti-ship munitions. In particular, Ukraine has drones and maritime drones as well as long-range Neptune missiles. In addition, the UK and France have provided Ukraine with the Storm Shadow and Scalp EG air-launched cruise missiles, which can reach 155 miles. The US also donated several models of land-based missiles, notably the 170-mile range M48 or the 190-mile M57 with 470-pound warheads and enough accuracy to hit ships in port. The raid last Sunday that sank the cyclone included an attack using M48 or M57 missiles, Forbes notes, recalling that Ukraine received more than 120 ATGMs in two batches one last fall, the other in April. Russian air defense was powerless to stop these missiles. This is an ominous development for the Russian Naval Command, which is fighting to preserve what remained of the Black Sea Fleet, the publication writes. A hailstorm hit Poland's western city of Nizno on Monday, causing flooding in the city and covering it in snow. Thunderstorms and hail continue in the city, prompting authorities to issue warnings for local residents. The Polish Institute of Meteorology and Water Management issued a hail warning for several regions on Monday. There is an increased level of danger for three regions. Thunderstorms are forecast with heavy rainfall of up to 80 mm, the institute said. Polish Defense Minister Władysław Kosiniak-Kamysz announced that the Polish military would join in helping those affected by the hailstorm and eliminating the consequences of the disaster. Soldiers are mobilizing forces to provide assistance to the victims and eliminate the consequences, after the hailstorm in Nizno, the minister said. In Nizno and the surrounding area, rescuers received about 200 calls related to the disaster. The vast majority of these emergency calls had to do with pumping water out of flooded basements, apartments and commercial premises. Local farmers have already reported significant losses as many orchards were severely damaged.